Today, we're going to talk about a heated situation going on in a quiet neighborhood near Hertzville, in the southern part of Sydney. It's all about the construction of a new masjid. And guess who's leading the project? None other than the famous athlete and celebrity, our brother, Sonny Bill Williams. You might know him as a former professional rugby league and rugby union player, making him a global star. What makes Sonny Bill Williams even more unique is his conversion to Islam back in 2009. That's right, he returned to Allah which became an important part of his life. Alhamdulillah. Nowadays, he's taking the lead on this masjid project which has brought both support and opposition from the local residents. You see, the neighborhood has become a battleground of opinions. On one side, there is excitement and appreciation for the masjid's construction, seeing it as an opportunity to bring a sense of community and cultural diversity. It could become a place of worship and gathering for Muslim families in the area. However, on the other side of the coin, there is a group of residents who are vehemently against the idea of having a masjid in their neighborhood. They are worried about potential safety concerns and the impact it might have on their children. They fear that the presence of a masjid could lead to problems or clashes with the existing community. After an eternity of legal back and forths, the New South Wales Land and Environment Court has finally given the green light in 2022 for the masjid to be built on the site of an old retirement home. However, even with this decision, the feeling of uncertainty and opposition among residents remains strong. They are worried about some potential challenges that might arise once the masjid is up and running. One of the most prominent issues is the expected increase in traffic around the area. With the masjid in their area, more people are likely to visit regularly, which could lead to congested streets and difficulties in finding parking spaces. Council planning chiefs estimated would need at least 97 car park spaces to cope with the demand based on just one car for every 10 visitors. But the approved plans only have room for 27 cars. Another concern that arose is the potential for increased noise levels in the vicinity as 20,000 local Muslims will come to it daily. They're scared of the loudness of Adhan and gatherings that might cause disturbance to those living nearby. So they launched a bitter campaign to try to stop the development of the masjid and line their streets with placards protesting against the Muslims. Your new mosque being built in Carlton near Hurstville in Sydney South. So Sheik, we're on the second floor and this is where the woman's musallah will be? Neighbours have been fighting this development for years. Not in our street! Not in our street! Sonny Bill Williams has decided to support the Muslims. He lives near the masjid site with his wife, Elena, and their three children, and has been the public face of the development, along with fellow former boxer and friend, Anthony Mondine. Both of them have reportedly donated $200,000 to the masjid. Through social media, Sonny Bill proudly shares updates about the masjid and surges Sydney's Muslim community to come together as one. However, not everyone is on board with Sonny Bill's actions. Some are admiring Sonny Bill's dedication to his faith and his efforts to build a sense of community among fellow Muslims in Sydney. They see him as a role model, using his platform to advocate for something he deeply believes in. On the other hand, local residents raise concerns about the accuracy of the information being shared. They worry that a celebrity's claims could influence public opinion and create misunderstandings. According to them, it is unfair to give such a facility and privilege to Muslims in their neighborhood. So oh, please don't get me on Sonny Bill Williams. No, he, he's got, he, he needs to be educated on all of this, that man. Educated on what? Smashing the former football player for supposedly spreading fake news. The main worries the residents have are about the potential disruptions of their daily lives. They're afraid that the increased number of people coming to the masjid 
might lead to more traffic in the area, and this could cause some noise disturbances as well. Some residents even claim they feel uncomfortable and intimidated because of issues related to the disagreement. Yeah, I might be working afternoon shift or night shift or morning shift. You know, I've got to block all this out now. How am I going to block the noise out? How am I going to get my sleep? Where's, what about us? We're the rate payers. Sunny Bill believes that it is our duty to interact with our neighbors in a kind and respectful manner. Islam teaches us to engage in friendly discussions and show kindness to those around us. We should take the initiative to clear up any misunderstandings people might have about our faith. By having open conversations and demonstrating goodwill, we can create a positive and harmonious environment for everyone in our community. When we engage with our neighbors, it's important to be patient and understanding. Some people may have misconceptions or doubts about Islam, and it is our responsibility to address their concerns with empathy and respect. By doing so, we can build trust and foster a better understanding of our beliefs. According to Muslims and Sunny Bill, the building of masjid can bring people from different communities closer together and demonstrate how embracing diversity can lead to positive outcomes. Sunny Bill's main focus is on promoting religious tolerance, which means understanding and accepting each other's beliefs without putting one faith above another. Instead, he wants everyone to appreciate the beauty of having various backgrounds and traditions and to cherish the connections that arise from mutual respect and shared experiences. He promised that the masjid would be a place of worship for Muslims where they can practice their faith. Additionally, local residents could see it as a hub for their children and future generations to learn about Islam and its teachings. So before ending this video, we would like to say that the battle over the construction of the masjid near Hertzville has become a tense standoff between Muslims and local residents. While Sunny and the masjid supporters want the masjid built for their community, neighbors are worried about how it might disrupt their peaceful neighborhood. To solve this problem, both groups need to talk openly and try to understand each other. They should find a solution that respects everyone's rights and needs. Only then can they live peaceful together in the area.